Hey, Rob, Steve. Oh, hiya, how are you? Are you free to go away? Where? Uh, it's a job. It's kind of a tour. Really good restaurants. Why me? Uh, Misha can't come and I don't want to go alone. I've uh, asked other people, but they're all too busy. So, you know, do you want to come? Should be a two rooms and under the name Coogan. We only have one double room. What do you think's going to happen? All right, touch my bottom. Were you an altar boy? What do you got? What do you Heat in my scallops. Heat, Pacino. I've not heard your Michael Caine, but I assume it would be something along the lines of, my name's Michael Caine. You were so wrong. Michael Caine used to talk like this. It's not quite nasal enough the way you're doing it. When it gets loudly, it gets very loud indeed. And you don't do the broken voice. But it gets very emotional. Cheers. Taste of a childhood garden. Was there a lot of alcohol in your garden as a child? I'm sorry, Rob. They always say something like, gentlemen to bed, before we leave at first light. No, they never leave it. 9.30. <laughs> gentlemen to bed, before we leave at 9.30. Ish. Ish. Don't you find it exhausting, running around, chasing girls? I don't, girls. Go I don't chase them. Oh, dear me. But don't you find all that exhausting at your age? I think it's exhausting past 40. <laughs> I'm with a short Welsh man who does impressions. It's not fun. Have you been doing drugs? Sex between two people is a wonderful thing. Between three, it's terrific. Pithy, vaguely amusing, a cry for help. If you were to allow your child to have an illness, you could win Oscar Best Actor. That's disgusting. How not old, a, not a, What not... kind of illness? I want a room with a view. I want to see a tree. I'd like a vodka martini. Shake a butt stroke. She was only 16 years old. I directed the whole movie. Oh! How's the trip been? I can honestly say it's one of the most enjoyable periods of my life. Uh -huh.